was in the car with my mother and my sister, changing the radio station for some music to listen to. While changing from station to station, my mother stopped on the news. I quickly zoned out the window, but I turned back when I heard the presenter talking about how a man threatened to kill his partner if she reported the abuse conducted towards her. Saying that I was in shock is an understatement. In the Dominican Republic, this is a certain cycle. Women are abused, later on threatened and told not to say anything. They report it, and then they are killed. The news gets hold of it, and we send our thoughts and prayers. It happens again and again with each new victim. The Dominican society has essentially gotten used to it because nothing is being done to improve the situation. Domestic violence can be defined as the certain intimidation, battery, physical or sexual assault, or any abusive behavior that creates a sense of power and control in a relationship. It is called domestic since it happens at home, a private place where anything that says there stays there. As I was giving this talk as a format, my mother decided to tell me about an important part of her childhood. When she was a child, my grandma always told her and her siblings to take their plates and dishes to the kitchen. After they finished, they all did as she said. But one day, my grandpa appeared in the hall and said, Él no es mujercita para estar llevando los platos. She also told me about her uncle, may he rest in peace, and cousin. As a child, the cousin was a really handsome boy, and he once told him, Él va a ser un gallo, deja que llegue a primero y segundo de primaria, que va a tener como diez novias. The cousin would have many girlfriends, and the action would have been celebrated. My mother's brother couldn't take the table, cloth, and dish to the kitchen because he wasn't a girl. These two expectations come down to a subtopic and cause of domestic violence. In Spanish, there is a word that really relates to this topic, and it is called machismo. It means the attitude or way of thinking that the man is naturally superior to the woman. As I researched for this topic, I learned about this Dominican saying, and it really goes with the notion of machismo. And it goes, La mujer es el piojo del hombre. In English, it means that women are lice on the head of a man. It is comparing both sexes, insisting that men are more important and that lice are an annoyance to the men. That right there is an example of machismo, telling us women that we aren't important, but that can actually change. There is a way to stop machismo and just turn it into a simple word of the past. Phrases like, tú eres un verdugo, que gallo de hombre, macho, un monstruo, and the most Dominican of them all, which is, amarren a sus gallinas, que mi gallo anda suelto, have tainted our culture by creating men who think that committing these actions makes them powerful by having a person in the palm of their hand. Believe it or not, manipulation takes a fundamental part in this topic. The men will start to control everything. The soul of the woman will start to shut down little by little, and she will start getting used to the aggression. In this context, the man will control everything, from the economical foundation to the emotional basis, and lastly, who she is. I am a thankful female. I give thanks because domestic violence is never present in my life. But ever since I learned about the woman who was killed in cold and bloody manner for doing what was right, and that certain laws aren't applied, leaving each case to turn up into a story that adds up to a chart of victims, it is more than enough. Spread the word. Think about it. Write letters to our representatives and even vote for new changes to be made. If you suspect that a friend is going on with this type of secret, never leave her alone and go ask help together. Because this is one of the things women are good at. Men can help too. They can create or be part of organizations. They can reach out to a friend with this type of secret. They can be positive role model to men and children. And they can speak out against domestic violence. They can also reach out a friend, get help together, and never leave her alone, ever. Because this secret, don't ever keep it to yourself. Because for once, it is worth it to be a tattletale. Thank you very much. <laughs>